Hello everyone, this is Drew from Best of Us Investors working with Mark on the Platinum Trading Platform. So in February, if you have followed the stocks that we have found after analyzing more than 700 stocks or charts every week and invested only 100 shares each, you would have made more than $2,000 last month. Of course, we do see some losses, but we use more than 10 indicators to analyze the chart and make sure that our members minimize their losses and preserve as much gain as possible without taking huge risks. So for more details on stocks that are set up for great trades every day along with education and chart analysis indicators and also want to be part of the weekly zoom calls with q a's regarding swing trades and investment make sure you join our platinum group and let's successfully invest and make it through this tough market together so what's new this week mark since uh february 1st we've just kind of followed this trend line down and even further and then here's this week with the banking okay here's today we're still open markets down look yesterday we crossed we opened we crossed over a resistance line of 3900 we crossed over the not the 200 day we crossed over the nine day and we hit right on the 20 day okay so, and then we crossed right through 3950 well today you know we started above just below the, the 20 day again we use these lines of support and resistance drop down back below 3950 and here we sit down below the 200 and we're right on the nine day again our macd is uh below the signal line we're having a little bit of a rollover crossover even though it's still above the signal line on the stochastic and of course our rsi is now below 50 so again you know, it, it just doesn't know where to go, but this banking hole situation has people spooked. And, and now again, we're under the 200 day moving average. I also go over to the watch list and the watch list, again, is just a list of stocks that we look at that meet a majority or all of our trading guideline criteria. So even in these markets, you can find little gems, but you really got to be careful because and set your stops uh, based on your risk tolerance because this market moves all over the place. So like on Monday, I went through over the weekend, you know, over 1,500 stocks. And I think the only one that I found on Monday before open was was gold, okay, GLD. And that just makes sense because when the markets are frightened people, you know, they go to gold and silver. But I saw, you know, right here, we had a one candle close above the nine. We're above the 200. We're above the 20. Here's a, a natural support line for the process. And we just ticked off the 50. Well, you know, Monday came and it popped right up. So here's where we... Kind of we're at where we put it on the watch list and now you can see it went all the way up crossed over uh, basically a resistance line a process resistance line and came up and hit our next stop line up here 182 81 these make good places you know to set loss or, or limits to get out and make some money uh, every time you hit a line you can see we kind of hit here back here you can see this kind of a line and then we went back down uh this could continue to go up depending on you know the market situation with these banks and and everything you can see our macd is above the signal line we got a good strong stochastic here and you know we're sitting at 71 on the rsi and people would say well you know you're over you know you're overbought here but this line can go a long way as you can see down here without uh without budging so gold is still in but you could have gotten out at this point i think when we got in this when we put it on the watch list it was like at 173.87 and i just looked at it you know 30 minutes ago and it was 182.46 so had you been in that somewhere in this trade you'd be up about eight dollars and 59 cents for 859 dollars around that on this trade just this week and that's just in a bad week on tuesday we put on the only thing i could find was silver slv slv you can see closed above its uh nine day simple moving average here on monday and so normally uh if i see that i'll try to put in if i'm gonna buy i try to put in a buy limit order below the close price somewhere down below so if it ticks down you can hit it so in this case it you know you could have hit it anywhere in here it would have been a down day and then and on Wednesday, you can see we, we spiked up and then popped back down. This was a you know a problem with the banks and that caused some fright. So people moved into gold and silver. And again, you can see where we are today. We're up 48 cents. We crossed over this resistance line. We have, and then we're just bouncing off the 50, which will be your next line of resistance. And every morning on Tuesday, I put this in. And then every morning, as long as it still looks good, I'll put a chart in on the stock watch list channel and tell you, you know, here's where you're going to find resistance. Here's where you'll find support, basically. And here's where the cost base. This probably would have been on this trade. You can see the MACD is still.
still up and ascending. We have a little bit of a rollover on stochastic and our RSI is still above the 50 level. These are very volatile, you know, because it is silver and it is gold, but they are tradable. You know, if you have the patience and if you have this trading stamina, there you can make some money off this. Wednesday, we didn't put anything on the watch list. We just watched gold and silver. So that would have been right here. Thursday, uh, again, when you start seeing the market scared, you go look for places where money flows, you know, for safety and not only treasuries, but here it was in utilities. So you can see, so Tuesday we had a full candle close above the nine. Now the problem here is we're below the 200, but you know, when you're in a situation where the markets are down, you're going to have a lot of your stocks below the 200, which just tells you, you got to be a little tighter uh, on your, your stops because it can move quickly. And, and, you know, it's in a bearish trend when you're under this 200. But however, sometimes, you know, here was our, our entry point right about here because it went up. So the next day this came on the stock list, you know, you'd put your, your buy a little bit lower than where it closed. And again, you could see it popped and hit, went up, wicked off the 50. And then today you can see we're right back down to about where we started and it came down and used the 20 uh, as support. So if you wanted in, to get into this trade, you could have, you know, if you're risk averse, put in a stop limit uh, any, any place when you were uh, up on this trade, uh, or you can wait it out because you still are above the 20 and the nine. Uh, however, you're you're down below the 200. If we go down, the MACD is still positive. Had a little bit of a rollover on the stochastic, and we're at 51 with a little bit of a rollover on the IR RSI. So if you're risk tolerant, you certainly can stay in this trade if you want. But again, we're in a we're in a risky downtrending market, so always keep your stops tight. Thank you very much for listening, and I hope you enjoyed this episode. For more details and updates regarding swing trades, chart analysis, and stocks to watch each day that are set up for great trades, make sure you join our platinum group so that we could get through this tough market together. See you all next week.